setting SLA and ticket escalation rules in Vision Help Desk. SLA defines the response and the resolution time for solving the tickets. It's a agreement, it's a service agreement between company and their clients. Let's just see how to set up a SLA rule in Vision Help Desk. Now before we start with setting up SLA plan, we need to set up a work schedule. Under schedule option, you can add your company working hours. You can create multiple work schedules through this section. For now, I have added 24 by 7 work schedule. And the next step is setting up holidays. The days for which you don't want to calculate the SLA. So here you can add the list of holidays that you want to include or you want to skip while calculating the SLA time. Next step is to create a SLA plan. Under SLA section, you can add different SLA plan. Let's just add a new plan here. You can name the SLA plan and select the work schedule. Set up the response time and resolution time. A response time is the max time that your staff should take to reply the ticket. And the resolution time is the max time that your staff members should take to resolve a ticket. Next step is to create a workflow rule to apply the SLA. So under automation area we have next workflow. Let's just create one new workflow. I'll name the workflow rule. Workflow mainly has three sections. One is event. Here you can set up the different events for which you wish to trigger this workflow rule. Now in our case, we are going to set this for a new ticket and for the client reply. So whenever there's a new ticket or there's a new client reply, we wish to apply the SLA plan that we have created. Next section is the criteria section. Here you can set up different criteria. Based on this, if the criteria is matched, the next section that is action part will be executed. Now, in criteria, we'll be setting up subject contains blank. That means for all ticket, we wish to apply this SLA to all tickets. So we'll leave this as blank. And in action area, We'll select the SLA plan that we wish to apply. We have this apply SLA. We'll select SLA plan 1 and add this. Now we have created a workflow rule that will apply the SLA plan 1 whenever there's a new ticket or there's a new client reply having any subject. What if if we wanted to apply SLA plan based on a department the ticket is created or SLA for specific organization or even a client or maybe SLA based on tickets priority. Let's see how we can achieve that. We'll create another SLA plan. Next, we'll create a workflow rule. Select the event for which you wish to trigger the workflow. Now, under this criteria, we can select different criteria. Based on this, you can define for which criteria you wish to set up the different workflow action or different SLA rules. Now, if we wanted to apply, say, for a particular client, we can select the criteria client name contains something. Or you can name the client here. Or even you can set organization. So, whenever there's a new ticket from certain organization, you can select the organization name and based on that, you can apply the SLA. 
or maybe if the ticket was created in a certain department we can select the department name and maybe if we wanted to apply here if the tickets priority equals to critical you can create different and and or operations uh, you can add multiple criteria here and achieve the requirement that you want to set for the SLA application next in the action area you can set the apply SLA using workflow you can not just create or apply SLA but there are several other ticket automations that you can use or that you can create using workflow rules so that's how you can create a workflow rule and apply the SLA plan in order to see how this works we'll create a ticket from a client portal but before that I'm going to disable the default workflow and the SLA plan one that we have created and we'll be mainly testing this SLA plan 2 let's go to client menu select the client and log in as the client here we'll create one ticket and select the department support and priority as critical and submit this ticket back to inbox uh, this is the new test ticket that we have created all right now you can see the SLA plan that the system has applied this was the plan that we created and since the ticket was created under support department and the priority was set to critical the system has applied the SLA plan 2 having a response time of 12 hours and resolution time of 24 hours now if the response time if the ticket is not responded within a given response time then the ticket will get overdue and similarly if the ticket is not resolved in a given 24 hours then the ticket will get overdue for the resolution too you can also apply SLA from a ticket from action menu apply SLA here you can apply a custom SLA or select the existing SLA plan even you have option to pause the SLA or resume the SLA SLA can also be applied from mass operation menu here on the ticket listing the tickets that are displayed with the yellow background are the new tickets or they have the sufficient response time and the tickets that are with the pink background that is that are, that are the overdue tickets and the tickets with the white background that are the tickets that are already replied by the staff member or that are undue next we'll see how to create ticket escalation rules if for some reason your staff member failed to reply within a given response time or resolve a ticket within a given resolution time just like we created a apply SLA rule using workflow similarly we can add a workflow rule that will trigger the ticket escalation in the event we can select on overdue and the criteria will set if SLA plan was SLA plan 2 so what we're looking here is if the SLA plan 2 ticket was overdue then we wish to take some action or maybe we want to escalate the ticket so to either some different staff or maybe change its priority or change certain property for the ticket say I want to raise the flag to red and assign it to administrator so that's how you can add the ticket escalation rule and based on what you have said in the workflow 
the system will automatically detect the tickets that are overdue and on an overdue the system will trigger the escalation rule that you have created so you can go on adding multiple escalation rules depending upon the kind of flow that you want to set in this system well that's how you can set up sla and ticket escalation rules in vision help desk